Hello YouTube, it's Fort Pinar Airsoft. Why am I wearing these aviators? I don't know. Alright, so we have an unboxing for you today. A very exciting unboxing. Let me just tell you now, I won't look like a retard out on the field velcroing an iPod to my head so I can record games. I never put those game videos on YouTube because they are terrible. Let's get this done. Oh, Amazon is terrible packaging. That was so easy. And let's see what we have. Plastic! Yes! No, I'm just kidding. Or the receipt! Yeah! For $112.95! Uh. An envelope. Envelope with a micro SD card. Will you please zoom in on that? Four gigabytes, classics, eight bucks and ninety-seven cents. Pretty good. Actually, it was six seventy-nine from Amazon. Plus tax. A warranty card and who can guess what it is? I'll give you twenty-four hours to comment. Then I'll remake the video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This was packaged into that little brown box, but you can't see it, but I won't bother to pick it up. There must be retards packaging at Amazon. Sorry, Amazon, you sell great products. I mean, I mean, I like you better than eBay, personally, but what the hell, man? Seriously? You could have saved me money by putting it in a smaller box, so... Let's open this up. This is the on Ops camera helmet cam, so I won't look like a retard taping an iPod to my head. This is the Dual Lock 3M Velcro strap. Wow, that is stronger than Velcro. Instruction card. They just crammed that in there. The box filled with stuff, the goodies. And plastic. The box itself, the complimentary Tachyon XC 3M dual lock Velcro card thingy. The tripod mount. Did you zoom in on it? Yep. All right, tripod mount. Pretty good. The cable, the charger camera and the tether. Now just to remind you that this cable is specially for the Tachyon XC, at least I think so, or Tachyon Ops. Um, if you see compared to a PS3 controller cable, I'm pretty sure other, I see a lot of other cameras and devices that use this same cable. And they're really different as you can tell. Tether, cable, dual lock strap. <coughs> The impact armor case, so your, ca so your camera will get text from shots from BBs. Pretty hard. Will I do a shooting test on it? No, because I won't risk it. The contour helmet now, which will probably fit onto a helmet. Let me check here. There are my Hoscott helmet. So it's rounded up. It's supposed to be on the top of the helmet. I'll just tell you it looks better than an iPod tape to your helmet, but, you know, I kind of like it better to the side, which will probably fit since my helmet's round enough. The soft to the side. <coughs> Allen wrench! I have like a billion of those. The clip mount, which you can attach to the brim of the hat, or, you know, the vest or side of the goggles, like, I, like many other people do, like this right here. Oh, that's very strong. Or am I just doing it wrong? Yeah, I'm doing it wrong. And it's pretty strong, too. Attached to the side of your goggles like that. And last but not least, it's the black cube. No, it's the Tachyon XC. And that, why did I not say my shape is a black rectangle? 
Um, wow, it's really small once you actually look at it in person. When I was looking at it through the computer and videos, I expected it to be a little bigger, but god damn, it's small. Um, it's a very nice camera, uh, constructed of plastic, and well, it's pretty nice, you know. Um, this is not waterproof, the XC is the waterproof version, so yeah. Now will you zoom onto the back of the controls? Now right here is the video and the still. Video and still options. Right here is the lock and unlock. Right here is the tether port where you know you just put tether stuff. And right here is for the micro SD. This is the flap to protect it or just the cover and the charging port. Now just to remind you, you need a class 6 or higher micro SD uh, card to use it here. Micro SD. And um, yeah, this is the camera. It comes with all this crazy stuff. Not crazy, but you know, very nice, very nice. Let's see, we have this tether, which would go on back of the camera. I'll install the accessory once I figure out how to unknot it. Maybe I'll figure out. Yeah, that thing is. And I knotted it. Time to attach it to the back of the track you want to see. Alps, I mean. And forget it, the hole is really small and it'll take some time for me to concentrate. Um, the impact armor I can put on. So yeah, see? You have access to the back. The volume will, pop, will not be distorted. I mean, um, the microphone is right here, but you know, you should still hear good. I'll do a video sample of this after. Very nice, as you can see. The helmet mount will attach onto the camera. Um, the only thing that holds the armor on are the grooves on the top of the tachyon and three little bumps, which, you know, won't fall out and just shake it, but if you hold it by right there, it kind of fall out. But, you know, you won't be using this camera without the mount, so when you put the mount on, it's really secure. Like, I'm trying to pull it off, and, you know, I don't want to break it, but, you know, there's some force behind this holding it down. Like I said, it'll attach to a helmet fine. You just need to put this dual lock strap there, the side, up, down, side, whatever. Sorry, that's my washing machine. It should shut up right now. That's why I'm trying to raise my voice. Got that off. You have the clip mount. It was a dryer. Yeah, that's my sister. She said it's the dryer, so shut up, dryer. Sorry, washing machine. I'm sorry for your feelings. <laughs> and here's the clip mount. Um, use the Allen wrench. You see it swivels around a little, but you use the Allen wrench that's included with it to tighten it up. And I'll show you how it like mounts on some goggles and how it would look like. Let's see, tighten it up. Tighter. There you go. And you know, it does pretty well for it. And then you can also tighten this spot right here so you just want it to stay like that. And then we'll tighten it. See? Stays in place. And let's put the goggles on. First, touch the Techion camera to the side of your head. I don't know, does it look like it looks good? Camera person, does it look good? All right, she gave me the nod yes, and yeah, it seems pretty good. The ledge will be pointing that way, so I imagine I'm holding a rifle. And yes, these goggles look retarded on me. I do not use them, I use safety glasses. That's why I don't use these goggles, they look retarded on me. I'm not pointing the gun like that. And you know, but it works on goggles just to show you. Goggles, vest, straps, whatever you should keep up. Let's take this off. Now I do not have a tripod with me, but you know how it works, there's that little key on the bottom when you would attach. If you wanted to video with this, I do not know why you want to video with this, like for like a review. Or you just want to test the quality, I don't know, but you know, it comes in handy. You never know one day where you might need a tripod now for a ridiculously small camera, you know? And then 
here's the cable. Just pull back the flat. You plug that right, plop that right into your computer. Plug this to the back of the tachyon. No charge. And for the micro SD card, uh, yeah, you have to use an SD card. You just put it in here. You can use like your fingernail or something until, um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Camera person, zoom in on the memory card slot. You see it fine? Pretty much. Okay. Once you put it in there, oh, wrong way. Once you put it in, um, see how it sticks out like that? And you try to push it in, it'll push itself back out. You have to use your nail and kind of wait till it locks in like that. Do not, do not put the flap in if it's still like, you know, pushing out. Use your nail or some other thing that's skinny. Just don't damage the card or the camera and it's ready to go. Turn on the camera, you hold the back right here until the light turns green. But my camera has no battery right now, so it just came fresh from the mail. So the light will turn green, and then the light will turn green, and then followed by a red, I think, or you press it again, it turns red. And then to, turn, to stop recording, just press the button, and it'll make a low pitch beep, and then turn on. This has been my review of the Tachyon Ops camera. Also, I have a short announcement. Nuclear Airsoft Team is playing in San Jose, Area 48. Come, come, come here to Area 48. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not some kind of monster truck guy, but, you know, uh, if you go to Area 48 on August 27th, you know, the Nuclear Airsoft Team will be there. And um, there's uh, the website to Area 48 is below. And um, they haven't updated the date when they're safe for the registration. They haven't uh, put up the registration uh, yet for August 27th. But, you know, it'll be there. It'll be there. You just have to wait. But Area 48's link will be at the bottom. Nuclear Airsoft Team's channel will be on the bottom. They're the team from Monterey with Jack, Loki, and some other guys, which I do not know. I only know Jack and Loki. I personally, lo personally, personally know Jack more than Loki because I've been talking to Jack through Facebook and Skype and stuff. And yeah, so I'll be videoing that game and be sure to watch out for it. Um, kudos to Nuclear Airsoft Team for coming down here. Uh, also, I'd like to give a shout out to SoCal Airsoft 562. I don't know why I did that, but. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Now we're friends, and they say friend, and they say friendships can never happen over the internet. Look what happened, bitches! And yeah, so yeah, we've been really good friends now, and we've known each other. Um, I don't know about three months now, and I know him. I actually consider him a more of a friend than some of my dipshit friends here in San Jose. I'm serious there. If any of you guys are watching, yeah, I consider him more of a friend. I don't care if you hate. Because it's true. That's right. And um, when the zombie, the zombie apocalypse comes to you guys, I'll screw you because I got guns at my house. And machetes. So screw you. You need to come over here. I'll, I'll let Jack and Loki and Randy come, but not you guys. Fucking okay, It's not just kidding. <laughs> no hate. And um, yeah, so this has been the review of the Tachyon Ops camera. Be sure to look out for the game at Area 48. And next will be some sample footage of how it would look like. Or Panera Soft, and I'm out of here. Right, recording.